Hi there! In this video we will demonstrate some of the key capabilities of Zone Zero, safety's industry-first secure perimeter orchestration solution. Zone Zero allows our customers to take control of secure access and easily achieve zero trust their way. The main benefits we will see are the seamless integration of multi-factor authentication into the flow of existing services and the introduction of application-level security, both implemented on a legacy VPN infrastructure without the need to reap and replace existing technologies. We will show a user initiating a connection to the corporate network using an existing VPN solution and being prompted for MFA. Afterwards, we will attempt to connect to remote resources using different applications, each access separately monitored and authenticated. So we will start with connecting to the secure network using our existing VPN solution. This is the same authentication method as before using our username and password. Now we are connected to the secure network. In a regular scenario, we would now have direct access to the network and any application within routing distance. I get a notification sent to my phone. Here you can see it on the screen on the Telegram client. You can see we got a multi-factor authentication one-time password. We will reply shortly, but before that, let's confirm that in spite of being seemingly connected to the network, we still don't have access to any of the services. What happens in the background is that Zone Zero has stopped the packets from reaching the destination until MFA is completed. Now let's respond to the MFA request. You can see that immediately after responding, access is granted and the network packets are allowed to reach the network. Now I want to show you something cool. Even though I'm now authenticated with MFA, and this entire environment is on a flat network with no firewalls in the middle, let's see what happens when I try to access a resource that we designated as sensitive, using RDP. Once again, Zone Zero is preventing the data packets from reaching the network, but you can see that the connection is not refused, but rather remains pending. I now get another factor of authentication sent to me. As I respond to it, the connection is immediately opened and the data packets are allowed to reach the network. How about a sensitive Windows network share? Definitely doesn't support native MFA. I once again get a one-time password, the connection remains pending, and is only opened once I respond. As you can see, not only do we limit network-based access on a resource level, we also add MFA capabilities to any application, regardless of whether or not they support it. How about a VMware vSphere client? The connection is once again pending and awaits further authentication. This is network access triggered MFA. And by the way, this additional factor of authentication does not have to be sent directly to the user. It can also be sent to their supervisor or IT management for granting access in real time. The policy as well as the content of the message are entirely customizable to fit every purpose. Thank you for joining us. We hope this information helps you achieving your secure access goals and realize your zero trust strategy.